So this is how I fish with plastic cone. First of all, the pop-up version, and I would use a pop-up one, if the fish are very hungry, they're not being caught a lot. Sometimes something a bit more blatant and a bit more in their face gets more bites than a slow sinking bottom bait. And sometimes you need to combat the weed, which I do here. There's lots of different kinds of weed on the bottom out there, a bit of Canadian, a bit of silk weed. And I just want to lift that hook up off the bottom so when the fish sucks it in, the hook doesn't get caught in the weed and it can go in its mouth. So the simplest one first, if you can tie the knotless knot, then you can do this rig. And all I've basically done is tied the knotless knot onto that size eight crank hook. I've done seven or eight turns up, pulled the hair out of the way, a couple more turns to force the hair out at an angle, back through the eye, and that's the rig done. The hair is very short. I've got the Bonoffi version on here. That's based on my Bonoffi hook bait. So in all of these, the attractors that have gone into them are the ones that have lasted the test of time in our own fishing when we're making our own pop-ups. And that Bonoffi, especially in the white color, is an absolutely brilliant combination. And then the counterbalance there, all I've done is slid a small size sinker onto the hook link before obviously I've tied the bit at the end of it and then just put a bit of the dark matter putty around it, just rolled it round and because that putty is so heavy, you only need a little tiny drop in like that to counterbalance it so it just sits up off the bottom and this is the new dark matter braid. This is 20 pound. Personally, I'd rather use 15 because when the fish are feeding over little bits and pieces, you've got bits of hemp out there, bits of corn, little tiny pellets, they're sieved in the bait. They're not really sucking it in like they would do with a 20 mil boilie. So everything needs to move around quite easily and that's why braid works so well. And then the next one up, this is probably my favorite braided version. I'm using Supernatural in 25 and you can see there I've added a couple of extra sinkers onto that and those two sinkers help it to settle into the weed and look as natural as humanly possible. The counterbalance is exactly the same, just a small size sinker, just with a little bit of putty around it. And then on the hook, there's a slight change there. All I've done is put a rig ring onto the shank of the hook and then tied a simple overhand knot around it and then tied the short hair. And on this one, I've got the IB corn, which probably is the most successful one of the lot. Everyone loves yellow, so it probably gets used a lot more than the others. But that that flavour combination in there comes from Ali Hamidi and it's an absolute winner. And then the next one down, this is a classic combi rig, but the simplest way of tying it. So there I've got the end trap semi-stiff, I've stripped a little bit back, tied my favourite whipping knot again, again put the rig ring around the hook and on this one I've got the fruity squid which is based on the attractors that I used in the underwater film that I was lucky enough to catch that big plated on. Those same attractors have gone into that corn and in all of this range the, the attractors are actually put into the plastic before it's moulded into a piece of corn so it's allowed to absorb in then it goes into the moulding machine, so it's in that corn permanently. So even if you bring it out of the water after 10 hours, there's still some smell in it. And then the count balance there, you couldn't get simpler than that. It's just a split shot squeezed onto the exposed braided section, just heavy enough to sink it. If it's not quite heavy enough, I would mould a little bit more of the dark matter putty around it just to get it to sink nice and slowly. And then probably the most complicated one, it's the one that I like using in this sort of situation where the water is absolutely tap water clear. I'm using an IQ boom that I've tied to 25 pound Supernatural. And I've done that using the Albright knot. And what you basically do, make a big loop in the boom section, in the mono section, go through that loop with your braid, around both bits of line six times, back up a couple and back the way you came through that same loop and then just pull it all down tight. And that's a really great join between those two materials. Trim the ends off and then your bit of putty actually goes around the knot so it's got a bit of purchase to hold it on. And if you find in weedy conditions where you're stripping weed off the line all the time when you wind it in, if your putty's moving, dry everything out first. Don't try and do it with wet hands. A little tiny dab of super glue on the knot and then put the putty back on again, let it all dry out and that help it help it to stay on because sometimes when you're casting and repeatedly winding in trying to hit a spot and there's weed around it, if you keep pulling the weed off, you will move the putty. There's no way of avoiding that. So by drying it out and using a little bit of super glue, you can keep it on that little bit more permanent. And this particular version of the hook bait, Believe it or not, started off as a Bonoffi, but I've soaked in the Almond Supreme. And if you want one of the goos to soak into the plastic, use the Supremes, which are the thin ones. So Garlic Supreme's brilliant. Pineapple Supreme is really good on the IB. And on this one, I've put the Almond, and that's turned that white Bonoffi hook bait bright pink.
So it's worth mucking about with those as well, because sometimes you can find that a colour or a flavour on the day is much better than any other. At the moment, it seems to be the IB, so I've got that on all three rods, but I'll keep mucking around during the session and changing things around, and it might be that the green one ends up being the one that gets the bites. So that leads me nicely onto this last one. Again, I've got an IQ boom tied to Supernatural, and here I've incorporated a captor hook, so a coloured hook. So if you're finding the fish are really, really spooky, the water's really, really clear, then a coloured hook like that doesn't stand out so much. And I think as long as you make the hook bait more visual than the actual hook underneath it, then I think you've got a chance of getting a bite. And you'll see with all of these, I'm using quite small hooks. One, because they're not very heavy, so it allows that corn to pop up off the bottom, but also because the hook is sitting up straight off the bottom, it is more visible. So I like to keep the hook nice and small, makes them very, very sharp as well, and that's how I get my bites using pop-ups. And if I'm gonna use this with a PVA stick or a PVA bag, what I'll do, make the bag up, then I'll put a needle through it cut the top of the bag and the bottom of the bag just to cut a little bit of the PVA and then use the chodic tool to make a huge hole through the middle of the PVA bag and that means I can pull the counterbalance through without moving the putty or moving the split shot. So it's a good little tip if you're finding it a struggle to get the counterbalance through the PVA bag, use the chodic tool to make a great big hole and then it'll go through there really easily. And then if it's not working on pop-ups, if the bottom's really clean and the pop-ups are too high off and you can't get a bite, then I'll move over to a slow sinker. And that's a classic situation there. All you've got here is a mainline dumbbell that's just cut in half, and then one of the IB corns on top of it. The hook will lay flat on the bottom, the bait will just sit up above, and that can get you bites when pop-ups don't. And then the last one, another great combination, using the white banoffee on the top, and then a darker bottom bait. You imagine you've got dark baits all over the swim, and there's one little bit of white. That can be enough to get them to hone in on that, and get the bite first. So if you're gonna use plastic corn, that's what I recommend. It can be as simple as you want or as advanced as you want. If you choose something here, you'll be getting bites. <laughs>